Hello everybody, Fixer here, back with the Westport Independent. It is week 9, and we got mail from our previous week. Let's take a look. Oh, we got lots of mail. Dear Editor, I've caught the flu, so I'll be staying at home this week. See you again on Monday. You freaking jerk, Frank. You liar. You're a lying liar. One of your employees, Julie, has for the last few weeks created content for your paper that can only be described as disloyal. Uh, it has recently come to our attention that your paper, the Westport Independent, seems to have problems understanding the guidelines. These guidelines are absolute, and we do not like you, is basically what it says. So we don't have any Frank. So what I think I want to do is I want to try to get the, the North and the West on my side as much as possible, the Rebel side. So I need something to convince them, and I don't know how to do it. Maybe if I can do some celebrity news. Carol Miller discusses upcoming movies. Starlet flees crumbling marriage into the arms of co-star. But see, this just makes them happy. It doesn't sway them to the rebel side, does it? Oh. It'll just get them to buy the paper. Maybe if I put this on the front page. How about that? But then again, I don't know what attracts them. Do they want... Carol Miller discussing upcoming movie, or do they want this tabloidy shit? Uh, during the interview, Miller spoke highly about the cast and co-star Harold Flynn. Finn, keep doing that. Harold's a great actor and dear friend. Miller stated it's been a hoot working with him. Miller, however, lamented that it gave her less time to spend with her husband. And who's suspicious? Phil, like the groundhog. Okay. Greatly improved medical care in state hospitals thanks to new regulations. Ramaville outsources to underdeveloped countries. Ten people reported missing. Anger against police. New health study shows benefits of tobacco. Get that shit out of here. So, I need industrial and crime. Westport police tricks on smuggling ring. Police attack southern docks market. Yesterday morning, police raided a dock located in the southern do the market located in the southern docks. According to the police, the market is suspected of harboring multiple black market vendors. The market will be closed off for a month to repair damage. Many inhabitants of the docks rely on the market's cheap goods to survive. So this is going to attract the southern docks people and the west people because they're into crime. But I don't know which side they like. Do they want to hear? That the police are doing well, or do they want to see that the police are... T I, I guess maybe this police attacks Southern Docks Market. Maybe that will sway them to the rebel side. Let's do that. Um, Let's see. Let's go there. And we'll give that to Anne. She doesn't want to do it. Will Julie do it? No. How about Phil? No. Alright, we'll leave it with Anne. Julie, we need something else. We need celebrity, industrial, or crime. Ramavilla bans Westport to unemployment, outsources to underdeveloped countries. A recent report claims that industrial giant Ramavol Industries has outsourced almost all of their production overseas. Meanwhile, several factories in Westport have been shut down, leaving hundreds of people unemployed. This has allowed unemployment in areas like the Eastern Factories to double. Let's do it. Um, that's got a lot of celebrity. So let's put celebrity on the front, because that will attract the North and the West. Then we'll put that there, because the North likes that, and then the West likes that. Right? I think so. So, let's put all our money into those. And I think the Southern Dock should do decently, even though I'm not putting any money into it, because of the crime thing, that the crime story that I have in there. That one. But I really want to try to get these two guys on my side. Let's do it. That was a quick day, wasn't it? With only three people. Week 10. Two weeks left. Uh, 
All right. So the West, North did really well. West did decent. East and South did pretty well considering I didn't spend any money over there. I'm pretty happy with this. So the opinions got swayed a lot right there. I don't know how much it did there. Maybe some. People's political opinion, 7 plus rebel, 18 plus suspicion, 13 plus popularity. This is bad. They're going to come after me. Oh, Frank, what do you know? Okay. So this is week 10. Let's get going. Ramaville Industries lays off 400 employees. Bar Brawl in the Western Districts. New apartments planned for the Western Districts. Carol Miller files for divorce. Due to outside pressure. Uh, Carol Miller announced her divorce. This came after trying months of marriage. Their relationship was further strained, Miller said, due to various unfounded rumors. Hmm. Multiple industrial giants suspected of having connections to the violent gang. <gasps> That's industrial and crime. The Vile Rags, underground puppet masters of Westport's industries. Um. Recent information from anonymous source implicates several Westport's major businesses of affiliating with the West Vile Rags. As the city's most infamous criminal gang, the Vile Rags are suspected of involvement in over 100 crimes last year alone. Amongst the suspected companies is Ramavol, which owns... All right. So let's go with that, and let's give it to... And these guys are, are pretty high in their suspicion. All right. Man shot during robbery. Close to Eastern. New apartments in the West. Expensive apartments to be built in the Western Districts while the docks are left with a housing shortage. So obviously the South is going to be pissed about this. But if I do it like this, then maybe the West will be happy. But are they going to be happy with the government? Probably not. Or probably so. So let's leave that alone. For now. Bar brawl. Dangerous drunken brawl leaves several people injured. Last night a fight broke out in a, at a bar in the West. Fight involved six people who, according to testimony, were all heavily intoxicated. Knives and broken bottles were used, leaving four of those involved with injuries. The fight... Soon stopped that the police arrived who arrested the offenders. Alright, there we go. That was an easy one. It's gonna be crime, so it's gonna it's gonna attract the West. So we'll run with that. Matt shot during robbery. This is more crime. Miller's marriage falls apart, leaves husband's toxic environment. Ah, uh, I don't know if if one of these is going to steer them towards the rebels. I, I don't think it is. So I don't understand what the difference is between these two headlines. I don't know. Ramavol lays off 400. Ramavol Industries takes out financial issues on its employees. Today, industrial giant Ramavol laid off 400. The personnel cuts are the result of a bad financial year. We are sad to see so many great people go. No, you're not. When asked if the company's management had taken any pay cuts in the light of the recent losses, no comments were received. How about you, Phil, like the groundhog? All right. Man shot during robbery closed to the Eastern factories. Innocent man shot in violent robbery by Eastern factories. Perpetrator acted alone and wore a goat's mask. The victim was shot in his left arm, resulting in minor injuries. Police apprehended the robber shortly after. How about that? Let's see how that does. Decent industrial. Um, very little crime. I might replace that. Eh. Alright, this is very underwhelming. The crime ones are. Exhibition cancel. Government cancels art exhibition. The upcoming exhibition, The Animal of Man, by various local artists, artists was today canceled. Government censors condemned the exhibition as obscene and vulgar. The most prominent part of the exhibition was a series of paintings showcasing political figures as farm animals. 
The artists have since been taken into custody, suspected of treason. Um, let's stick with that, and we'll get rid of that one. Okay, that one's a little be better. Not as good on crime, but it at least has a, a decent amount of societal. Alright, what do I want to put in there first? That one. That one. No celebrity, though. That's okay. I think. Um... Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with that. I'm... I don't know what to do. I'm getting dangerously close here. If I... If I hit that, I don't know what happens. And I'm, I got a feeling that with today's paper, I probably will hit that. Let's do it. Oh, no. Oh, whoops. No, not that one. That one. Can I... Oh, that's the... Wait a minute. Oh, did you see that? Fourth page is just under the U. First page goes over to the T. So you get a bigger bonus by putting it in the front. Which I knew. I just didn't know it was displayed right here. Okay. Let's see how different it is if I do that. More crime, which I want. Alright, so I am high in industrial and crime, which is north. Let's go with 35 and 35. And then societal, that's the south. Let's do 15 and 15. See how it goes. Business seems to be going really bad over at Romeville. No kidding, one of my friends is says it's complete chaos right now. They really need to do some... Some um, checking on the grammar in this game. Oh yeah, you have a friend working there, don't you? Did he manage to stay on? Well, according to him, he avoided getting laid off by a hair. I just hope things don't get worse over there. Uh-oh. Week 11. One week's left. One week's? Alright, we'll read, we'll read what's going on here and we'll call it an episode. Ooh, I didn't do well. I thought I had plenty of crime. I guess I didn't have enough celebrity crap. Whatever, whatever. All right, so I almost got the West to um, a moderate. Oh, no. Uh-oh. The Westport Independent has been shut down. The employees have been arrested and you have been charged with high treason. The establishment closed inf indefinitely by the Loyalist government. So that's what happens when you get all the way to the right. I did not know that. Is that it? That's game over? God damn it. The Westport Independent, a game about censorship, corruption, and newspapers. Well, I didn't know that... I would get shut down completely. I figured that they would send me some letters and maybe a guy to rough us up. I didn't know the game would end. But uh, there you have it. I may do another run of this. I don't know. It's not doing too well on my channel, so maybe not. We'll see how it goes. But uh, if I do, I'll, I'll do something a little different, a little bit more fun and strange. Because we like strange. Anyways, guys, that's a Westport Independent. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.